Hey guys, welcome to our channel. It's Demi from CJ Dropshipping. In today's video, I am going to share the successful story of the famous body shaping brand, Shaperming, which is one of the top Shopify stores in this niche and also an early partner of CJ Dropshipping. Building up a no brand is the ultimate goal of many job shapers, which means substantial profit, repeat business, and a bright future. One, the founder of Shapermint succeed in doing this. Started with job shaping fashion jewelry, now he has the most successful e-commerce companies. Let's get into the story and see what we can learn from Shapermint's experience. The story began several years ago when the business model of dropshipping even didn't have a proper name, and CJ was a jewelry manufacturer on Alibaba and AliExpress. We had a customer constantly buy hundreds of necklaces and have them shipped all over the world, especially requesting to never ship the item with any voice. This guy is Wen, co-founder in Chief Lear, who was a student in his freshman year of university from Iceland. We were amazed by this model of business, and scheduled a meeting with Gwen. Then we went to be lasting business partners and sold millions worth of products. These were the early days of dropshipping. And because it was still so fresh, it was largely unregulated. In terms of dropshipping, this meant you can easily sell branded products without a license. It was certainly a gray area, but we went on to sell tons of Harry Potter necklaces. However, over time, Wang faced issues with his payment gateway and no longer after, Facebook blocked his account. It was becoming very obvious that working within this green area was not going to be sustainable and quickly ditched selling branded merchandise in favor of something viable. After deciding to switch products, Wang then focused on marketing the elephant pillow. Wang knew how to advertise and CJ could find the best manufacturer. So quickly, we had another winner on our hands. We were selling packages out like crazy. It was a win-win situation for both of us. With thousands of units sold daily for that product alone, you can see exactly how crazy it was. Juan really know how to pick winners. I am not going to go into detail of his methods, but you can watch our previous videos and read articles on CJ website to find out methods. Wen spent tons of time researching and texting products and their niches. And while searching for a product that's more evergreen, Wen at Trifilio was able to find another huge niche, body shaping. We hear at CJ talk with a ton of job shavers and most of them found that it's hard to make consistent sales the entire year round. The concept that a product can remain evergreen through the entirety of the year round sounds like a myth to most people. The problem is that most people tend to sell products that have short shelf life. But searching and focusing on solid performance is the first step to set up your own brand which could lead to lasting business. Shapeware was ultimately Huang's winning niche with his first brand being Ampitua. He initially tested its viability using AliExpress. He found the right product but was unsatisfied with the inconsistent shipping times. Later opting for CJ dropshipping as we typically could get deliveries to customers a week faster. It's a good strategy to test product with AliExpress and then scale with CJ once finding a winner. After hours of researching and testing to see if the product was even viable, he had our sourcing agents contact numerous manufacturers to custom make a signature line of shaperware. With his superior product and knowledge in advertising, paired with our ability to offer faster shipping, we again had another winner on our hands. One thing that really ensured their success was custom packaging. Not only did we help sourcing the product, but we doing custom materials and packings it made as well. Virtually none of Gwen's competitors had anything like this which made him stand out and gave his company more credibility. His customers were impressed, often posting their purchases on Facebook and Instagram. In 2017, M12 was exclusively dropshipping units from China, which means that orders typically took 
twenty plus days to arrive, they were getting complaints, which is never good for business. In 2018, they aimed to take a more domestic approach to job shaping. We here at CG had opened our first fulfillment center in the U.S. around that time, so naturally we saw another win-win situation for everyone. They asked their American customers if they were paying five dollars more for two to five day shipping, and the results yielded an astounding yes. Within three months. They rebranded and moved all their inventory into the U.S. and exclusively shipped domestically. Now, known as Shipper Mint, Wang was able to scale his business from a mere idea to one of the most successful e-commerce companies. It wasn't perfect at first and also required a substantial upfront investment, but with superior marketing and a custom-made product. Wang was able to build a high customer retention rate. Not only did he have a product that you can only get through Shippermint, but customers often bought multiple units throughout the year, simply because he was able to build his brand's credibility using combination of Facebook and Instagram ads, email marketing, and being seen on major networks and publications. Shippermint literally dominates the body shipping niche. And with exceptional customer service, he is able to keep customers happy and therefore more likely to return for more purchases further down the line. As it stands now and in the future, only brands are able to reach a point of sustainability. It would be wise to incorporate this into your overall strategy. It's important for entrepreneurs to have some form of branding guidelines. Marketing strategy and scaling strategy before they launch a new business. These three documents will help you reach a higher level of personal success. It's also important to consider how you structure your business. For instance, you can double down on the cost per unit, but if you brand correctly, a customer is more likely to purchase multiple units per section and return for more further down the line. This can be formulated out as. Branding strategy equals less money on a single purchase, plus bigger margins on multiple units sold per section, plus customer retention based on brand credibility. This being only one example of the infinity possibilities on how to structure business and conversion funnels. We here at CJ Dropshipping implore you to chart out a structure that best works for you. Here's a quick list of helpful tips that can summarize this video. Tip one: Never give up on your dream and always test any product's viability. You might have to start off in the gray area, similarly to tree failure, but be willing to adapt when needed. Tip two: Sustainability is the ultimate goal. A winning niche will yield better results over time compared to a winning product. Tip three. Hold your business to a high degree. Do not make one-time money. Tip four: Scaling your business can only be done with a reliable supplier. Tip five: Sourcing agents, manufacturers, and the fulfillment team are all crucial components to build your brand. CJ Dropshipping can connect you with all the right people. Tip six: Always strive to provide a quality product for a customer. Tip seven: Faster shipping. Custom mailer bags or boxes and the promotional packings will absolutely build your customer retention rate. Tip eight: Design all your mailers to stand out from your competitors. Tip nine: Customer support can make or break your business. It's very important to listen to your customers' needs and incorporate their feedback to the best of all your ability. Tip ten. When scaling your business beyond just yourself as a sole proprietor, it's important to hire for trust and reliability. The team you build will be your greatest asset. That's all for today's video. Hope you guys got inspiration from Huang's experience. For more tips of running job shipping, please watch our previous videos, and do not forget subscribing us as we are updating frequently. Leave a comment to let us know your interested topics. Maybe you can see your topic in our next video. Thanks so much for watching. See you at next videos.